Well, two inch lift is here with a camber adjustment. That's nice. And so are my CV boots, outer CV boots. Nice. Let's get to doing that. Greasy. They are a little pricey. Hmm. I just wish I knew which way this is supposed to go. One of slotch on each plate to be pointed toward the center of the truck. It'd have to be like that. Oh wait. <laughs> Guess I'll do that CV boot at the same time. Go mudding. Good idea. Go in the mud before you gotta work on it. I got a new cotter pin anyway. Pretty easy. Looks like I gotta take that caliper off. Let's see what holds that together now. Nope. I can struggle with this. There. And make it a little easier to work on, maybe. That should just pop off of there. No. Nah. The hell? Because this should have a clip on the inside. Usually the one that slides has a clip and this one usually just pops on. Oh, I got some shit in there. I have to clean that all up. Wash it with some kerosene. So I decided since I can't pop the, this off the clip for whatever reason, I'm gonna do it all through this side. I don't know if these two boots are the same, but I, I can maybe reuse this. I bought two boots anyway. Maybe a little smaller. I don't know. Hopefully I can reuse it with this one. If I can pop the clip, this whole thing will come apart. There it is. Now this stuff is highly machine precision part, so you definitely don't want any dirt. But I'm definitely going to clean everything and put fresh grease, especially at the end the boot was ripped on. Now, put that straight. Slide that off. Now, there should be a little circlip in this end. Don't go too much. Don't spread, spread it any more than you have to. Because you don't want to stretch it. This will come off. Deep end faces outward. I can take this boot off. Oh, that old grease. Now I can get this boot off. It's kind of a long way around it, but I can't get that off. This is junk. Alright, we're going to clean that up real good before I repack it with some fresh CV grease. A little bit of my old gas here. I don't have any kerosene. See if I clean this all up nicey nicey. Yeah, I used to have a parts cleaner. wish I had one now. You can hear and feel there's no grime at all in there. That's what you want. Now I'm ready to repack. Get all that shit out of there. Let it dry up a little bit. 
they look like look like they're the same so I guess I'll I bought two so I'll order two more for the other side might as well put brand new ones on both sides here because that's a smart thing to do I wish I had a little better light for you guys pack this in there You can hear there's no grinding, there's no nothing, it's perfect. It's what you want. Just keep pushing it down in there. <clears throat> I think we're ready for the boot. Mm, these have a different style. I don't particularly like, but they'll work. push this all the way and put the rest of this grease in there it's almost impossible not to get grease underneath that but do your best tighten that as much as you can make sure it's riding on that groove squeeze I don't like that I never like that I mean it, it's nice and tight but just never like that sticking out now this one you gotta slide until it hits that little ring there that's it right there do the same thing for this so it's watertight just never, never like these damn things. Wonder if I could tap that over if it'll break. If I guess if it breaks, I gotta. Yeah, that's better. Really nice and smooth. I don't feel any dirt in there. I think we did all right. On to the top one. Make sure this is nice and clean. I already cleaned it up. I'm gonna go past it first. Make sure it's clean. The cup sticks out. And a little clip. Make sure that's in there. Make sure it's in there good. This I'm gonna put a little grease in the bottom. It's a dirty job. That smashes the grease through nicely. Get that clip in there. It goes in so easy. You feel around, make sure that's in the groove the whole way. And look. That ring is in there all the way. Now I'm going to put a little grease, or the rest of the grease, in there and send it home. So hard not to get grease on this outer lip where it's going to be held on. Yes, the inner and the outer are a little different. So I'm hoping this is going to tighten up enough. If it don't, I'm going to have to put the old one back on. Feels like it did. Yep. Oh yeah, I can't even move it. Oh, that one's way off. It's in the groove. Oh wow, great. That one's snapped. Cool. That's when. Use the old handy dandy tie wraps with the metal insert.
clean this off. I'm going to put a little bit of that grease on there. Start putting this back together. Fun. Fun stuff. That's why I don't like them type. I think they suck. The original ones are always the best. Pop it in there. Just like that. There. Now we're ready to put that son bitch back together. Probably a good idea to put new CV boots on anyway. It's going to be stressing this out compared to the stock height, so that wasn't a bad idea. Lower ball joint back in. Just enough to grab a couple threads so I can pull that through a little bit. Then I'll put the washer. Alright, spin that back off. Put the washer behind it. Tighten her up. Cotter pin. There. Put the brakes on. Make sure these pins are floating here. That's important. I checked mine already. Liam? Now hopefully, get the damn two inch lift on without having to take all this shit back apart. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, huh. well, I guess it did go. And this has to go like that. I don't know how they put the three inch. And that's right on the border of the end of that one. Huh, okay. Get these on there and tightened up. Nose on there and tightened up. This thing's still spinning, of course, because it's only one nut on the top, <clears throat> so you can tighten these right up. It's nice and tight. That's one side done. Now you gotta get the tire on it. Huh. Although that was a good idea, you're not really gonna get any camber out of that. Because them bolts are in a way. Ho 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 ho. Looked like a good idea. Hope the camber's not too far out. Only one way to find out. Get it all together. And we'll see. What do you think? I like it. Pretty right cool, right? Alive. Yeah. <laughs> hey, can you go around and jack that up a little bit? I gotta see if I can get this wheel on there. More. Alright, probably there. Hold it. There, yeah. Put a two inch lift. Two inch lift? Yeah. What you put in? I bought a three inch, but it's never gonna fit. I changed a CV boot, too. Nope. That's one side. It's touching the ground. But look at how far off the ground that tire is. Is it two? There it is. There it is. Just took a little bit of finagling. That's all. Piece of cake. I may end up doing the heavier duty springs off the struts too. 
means I gotta take these off again. Haha. <laughs> That's alright. Alright, time to let her down. Let's see what it looks like. Wishful thinking with that slot. Wishful thinking. I guess got to kind of drive it around and see how much more that settles, you know. Yeah, that's as far as she's going to go. Do the same to the other side, and then look through the rear. Oh, it could go a little. That's as far as it's going to go. Maybe that's enough once it settles. I guess I just dent that. <laughs> I guess I did. Easy, easy, cheesy. So the front's done. I guess it does look like about two inches. All right, where are you supposed to lift this from? Well, actually, this this right here is the center. You'll probably do it right from there. That's dead center. It's all the way. Just enough room. Woo! If the axle's halfway, which it should be, and this is a two inch lift, it's gotta be four inches longer than this. This is three and a quarter. So, let's see. Three and a quarter. Yep, four inches, that's two. See, this should have a little bit of give. It's like that. One side. What the hell? I hope they left enough room in there. Huh. So that's all it is to lift the back. It's just shackles. Just two fucking... Yeah, it does come out if you pull that little rubber out with it. That's better. That's it, boy. Oh yeah. Yeah, she's lifted now. Actually, the thing used to sit like, um, yeah. Yeah. Well, she looks good now. I think that camber is still out a little bit too much, but I think you got to drive it though, because it's gonna settle. Yeah, I agree. It does look good. Can't look in the box. That's for the next video surprise. Maybe. So it looks like with the 2 inch lift and 23 inch tires, I got almost about 10 and a half inches, a little, over, a little under 10 and a half inches clearance in the front and that's the lowest point, center anyway. And in the back, let's see, it looks like, looks like about just shy of seven and a half inches in the back to the pumpkin so that's not too bad the best part about putting lift on as you can see is all the components underneath are a lot higher well two inches plus the inch and a half for the three inch bigger tires but that away makes it much better
He is exactly like you in every way, except one-eighth your size. Breathtaking. I shall call him... Mini-Me. Ah, uh, flexin' boy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.